Let's get the funding out of the way. Kasi alam nyo dati, nung pinag-usapan yung mga sending a Filipino to to space. Eh, mm -hmm. siya, napabili ng deodorant eh. <laughs> Naniwala. <laughs> hindi naman, hindi naman to yun, di ba? I mean, this is a real program. Yeah. How, how, much to, how much to run this? And, and Okay. Based on the current uh, bill, uh, there's a provision for an annual budget of about, uh, the initial budget is around 1 billion pesos. Mm -hmm. Then there's also a Philippine Space Development Fund, which is uh, amounting to about 10 billion pesos, which is for the next uh, five years. So that's approximately 2 billion pesos a year. Mm -hmm. Now, it, on the outset, it would look like it seems a uh, a lot of money uh, for that. But when you look at how much a country should spend in a national space program, normally, on, uh, at least on the average, countries should spend around 0.02% of the GDP mm -hmm. on a civilian space program. If we translate that to our current spending, our current budget, uh, that's about, that amounts to about 2.5 to 3 billion pesos a year. So which is just, just right for our, our current space program. We're pegging that on, on other countries that have yes. space programs, uh, India, for example. Yes, uh, but we, we remove uh, nor, norm, because when you talk about G7 countries and BRIC countries, uh, mm. they spend way more mm. compared to the other countries. So we remove the BRIC countries and the G7 countries, and that's uh, where we got the 0.02% of the GDP. Okay, compared to Thailand, for example, mm -hmm. or, Mal or Malaysia, mm -hmm. how, how do we compare? Uh, for us, actually, in our case, we would be a little bit more ahead in terms of, uh, let's say, comparing to Malaysia. Uh, but of course, uh, Thailand and Indonesia and uh, other countries in the ASEAN have been doing this for quite some time. So in terms of capabilities, uh, they've, uh, like Indonesia has been doing this in the, since the 1970s. So we need to do a little bit of catch up, which we have been doing for the past few years already. I think in terms of targets, when we talk about the hardware side or, the, or on the satellite side, one thing that we are lacking uh, a lot is more on the satellite capabilities, especially when you talk about communications. Mm -hmm. Right now, we don't have any major telecommunication satellite up in space. We have, as what uh, Engineer Retamar mentioned, Diwata 1 and Diwata 2. But we need uh, more of these satellites for operational capabilities, something that can give regular access to imagery, to satellite mm -hmm. images, whether it's optical or radar images. Uh, because we're, we're a tropical country, we have a lot of clouds, uh, mm -hmm. so that's why we need radars. And more, something that other aid departments like the Department of National Defense, Agriculture, Environment and Natural Resources can rely on so that they can use it on their day-to-day -day operations. So uh, it's on the downstream side, it's more of localizing these contents. Uh, the imagery so that we can, our, our farmers, our fishermen, our environmentalists can use these capabilities to help them uh, improve their productivity. So far, the ones we have right now, the Diwata satellites, uh, these satellites are for imagery or they're for... Uh, uh, they're for imagery. Imagery, so they have, yes. they have cameras. Primarily they have cameras, but uh, Diwata 2 is equipped with a amateur radio unit. So it's also for communication. Uh, using uh, the amateur radio unit of uh, Diwata 2, uh, we are able to communicate, especially in time, times of uh, disaster. Yes. If you remember what happened during uh, Yolanda, mm -hmm. all the cell communication was eff effectively wiped out. Mm -hmm. And we don't want a repeat of that. So using this technology and using handheld radios, the, the walkie-talkies, uh, that, that's very, fairly common, mm -hmm. you can communicate with uh, people from other places. Say you're in uh, Leyte, you can s communicate with someone in Manila or even someone in Japan as long as uh, it's covered by uh, the, satellite. the satellite. Through the satellite. Uh, so so the it's handheld effective radios for... Are, you don't yeah. need satellite radios for that anymore. No, no. Oh. So the ordinary satellite ham radios that uh, people use, oh, that can be used okay. to communicate. Yeah, big lang interesado si Ed. May CB pa to. Emergency uh, <laughs> situations. Okay, but Amy, uh, what, what, does, what does, in terms of offices and units, what, what already exists? Uh, for what we have right now, most of the space activities are being are done under the Department of Science and Technology. That's where uh, ASTI yes. actually comes in, which handles the operation of uh, the Diwata 1 and the Diwata 2 microsatellites. So, uh, but then there are also programs but being done on, in other departments that uses uh, satellite image. Mo mainly it's about the utilization of uh, okay. satellite images, like in the Department of Agriculture. Uh -huh. And uh, in some cases, uh, the Department of National Defense also uses utilizes uh, space technology. Okay, now we, we mentioned uh, the, the allocations, you know, especially with this new act, but just for comparison, uh, because our departments and our different sectors already rely on, on mm -hmm. information and data that they can get from, from space technology, mm -hmm. 
right now, what are we in fact already spending? If we didn't have, if we don't have our own space program, the reality is how much do we, how do we spend right now? How do we, what do we pay other countries uh, to provide us the information that we can now generate on our own? Uh, the, one of the, the, actually the last study that did that kind of assessment was in 2013. Uh, it was uh, the 10 year baseline research on what is existing right now in the Philippines in when it comes to space. And based on that data, we found out that more or less we're spending about 3.5 billion pesos a year hmm. just to buy satellite images. So, okay. So this is go primarily government or government private? Mostly um, government. That's hmm. mostly uh, government. So Over uh, South China Sea? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the civilian application, uh, for civilian application okay. of uh, space, uh, space sa uh, satellite images. So uh, based on that, uh, it's a huge amount. And then we've seen instances that two different uh, agencies are essentially buying the same, same. thing because yes. there's no central government agency that would consolidate. Oh, Bas okay. Basically, just because they don't know that this satellite image has been bought already by mm. the other department. So by having a space, a uh, Philippine Space Agency, that can actually more or less uh, make it more cohesive in terms of the strategy, in terms mm. of the activities being done by the government. And it would entail also a lot of cost savings on the part of okay. the Philippine government. You said, you, had, you said we have too few satellites. About how many are you thinking of? Uh, modest, modest uh, target. Based on the, uh, the satellite development roadmap that was uh, created a couple of years ago, which needs to be updated real soon. Uh, the, and the, uh, according to the stakeholders, I think there would be a need for about five more satellites, two more for communications, and three for Earth observation. With the capability of Diwata. And You're even talking about yes, that. and okay. even more. 